My name is Chuck Morris, and I had the privilege of a 37-year career in Iowa State University Extension. My last seven years, I was the director of Iowa Forge Youth Development Programs. The club that I belonged to was the Walnut Progressors, and we had a wonderful experience with all kinds of special memories. My name's Mary Morris, Chuck's wife, and I was a 4-H member. My 4-H club name was the Knox Up and Adam. We had a huge club and wonderful leaders. I, of course, had lots of livestock projects, the beef and swine, and then I got into a lot of the uh, SMA projects. So I had electric and I had mechanical kinds of things. Love to take things apart and put them back together. My favorite project was leadership. Through that project, it was kind of a combination of all the others. And then you learned more about yourself and what kind of person you wanted to be, as well as how you could positively influence others. I did not have livestock besides the clothing and the food nutrition and the home improvement. I I loved forestry and photography and climatology and etymology. I was out chasing bugs and pinning them and putting them in my box. Our leaders were always looking for new adventures for us, new experiences for us. It was just a learning experience from the very beginning. I think the most important lesson that I learned was that what kind of a person do you want to be and how do you want to be a friend and how do you be a good citizen? And 4-H allows you to be successful in all kinds of areas that you may or may not even know that you're interested in. When I mentioned that I was in 4-H, that I was a state officer, it was just like bells went off. It meant something very important to people, the commitment and the citizenship and the communication. One of the privileges I had as being a part of 4-H was in my senior year of high school, I was selected to go to National 4-H Conference. We said the 4-H pledge in Iowa differently. We always say at the end, and my world. When we go to National 4-H Conference, we say the 4-H pledge, and I continued with, and my world. And people would look at me like, what is going on? Well, being part of the international group, we recommended that the National 4-H Pledge add, and my world. Time won over, and now the 4-H Pledge does say, and my world. State officer was such a privilege. We met at the 4-H conference, which will be 50 years ago this coming June. It was a privilege that she was going to, went to Iowa State University, and I started there in the fall as well. And winter quarter, I think we, we, we went on several dates together, and then spring quarter, we saw each other every day. The friends that you make in 4-H, you included, are wonderful and last a lifetime. We had such wonderful experiences in 4-H that we wanted to share that with our family. It's not just, you know, the projects you had, it's the people you meet and how they make an impact on your life. You know, you all come with um, certain strengths and 4-H helps somehow refine those and bring those out. 4-H is, is just a timeless program that can provide uh, skills and experiences and opportunities that prepare you for the rest of your life. It's important for us to support the 4-H program because we look at what it has given us, given our children, given our friends, given our community. There's so many different opportunities and we want to continue to give so that as many of our young people can learn from this and carry it on into the future. Uh, what I see within leadership of Extension at the university, what I see with Extension staff, what I see with volunteers, I feel the future of 4-H is, is extremely positive. It's just a wonderful opportunity for uh, young people to come and learn and grow. I'll never forget when conference was all over, we were a uh, walkway over by Maple Willow Larch and we were all reaching out. Our theme was reach out and touch. We reach out and touch people, we help people. Every person can make a difference. And so that's what we hope. Yes, 4-H will continue. It will be part of our future for a long, long time.